Kyle, just uh, how was the practice today as you headed to your first uh, NFL game? Practice was great. I think we came out pretty fast, physical, and you know, executed pretty well. Still things to work on throughout the week. What, what kind of these emotions going to be like for you? Just thought about that yet? Uh. I mean, I'm you know pretty nervous still, you know, going into my first game, but I'm excited. I'm uh, eager to you know put my talents against other another team in a, in a game that counts. So, what is it that you're most nervous about? I, I, let me take that back. I shouldn't say nervous, but I would just say eager. Uh, but I'm just eager to play at this next level and, you know, like I said, test my abilities against others. All right, let me rephrase that. Then, what are you most eager about? I'm most eager about the competition, going against different people that I haven't seen different techniques, different defenses, so it'll be something fun. So you're also going against your hometown team, I mean, the Birds, right? So what is that like for you, your first NFL game, you're going <laughs> against the Eagles? What's running through your mind? I think it'll be pretty exciting. I know a couple of guys on the team, so, you know, it'll be a lot of fun playing against those guys and competing against those guys. How many friends and family, uh, A, have you been hearing from just about <laughs> this matchup, and B, that are going to come to your NFL debut? I have a lot of family coming down to the game. Can you give us an estimate? Because uh, we got 40 from Arthur Schmidt. That's like what he's got. What oh, you I don't, I'm not close to 40. I'm like <laughs> More or less? 10, like 10, 12. <laughs> Do you have like mandates for them? Like, because I'm guessing a lot of them are Eagles fans, right? <laughs> yeah, but they also my fans. So my family going to put on the eight jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so that, like, have you gotten any tickets for people? Like when you get tickets for them, are you like, you cannot wear Eagles stuff? Like, <laughs> you, like tell them that? No, I don't do that. Okay. And have family, have family and friends been talking trash to you at all with some of those people mm -hmm. you uh, no, nah, they know kind of during the week of preparation, don't call me trying to joke and laugh, so not really. Does it almost feel like, God, thank God we finally made it to this point? Because I feel like for me, I feel like we've been talking to you so much and, you know, haven't been able to see you play. Does it kind of feel that way for you that it's like, thank God we made it here so I can finally go out and play? Uh, I just take it day by day. I don't look in the future and, like, I just take it, like I said, day by day, try and get better each day and, you know, try and make myself better. How confident do you feel in, in Arthur Smith's scheme and in being able to, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can talk about in terms of preseason reps and everything like that. Do you feel comfortable with what you were given out, you know, whether it was, you know, throughout training camp, during the joint practices, all that kind of stuff? Oh, uh, yes, I'm very comfortable. I think he did everything for a reason and he does a great job of, teaching so he kind of made it easier for me to learn and I, I found ways to learn his way and you know me and him kind of gel so I'm, I'm pretty excited. How long has this been a dream of yours? I mean what, four less than what, five days away? I, you dreamt you dreamt about this moment. Talk about that. Just how excited it will be to bust out there and be on the NFL field. I mean, I'll be very excited. Uh, I've been waiting on this my whole life. I've been wanting to play in the NFL my whole life so now that I get to play in the actual game and like see a whole stadium a stadium full of people, it would be pretty exciting. What's the expectation for yourself in your first NFL game? Just go out and take every play by just plays and don't overthink anything. Do you feel that you're prepared? I mean, you really just had one catch in a preseason <laughs> game. Uh, there's a lot, you know, it was a big game. We're all expecting that. You know, do you think it was enough that you're prepared for this first game? I think during during the week, during our, our preparation to help me prepare as well. And, you know, our practice is, is pretty hard, so. I'll be ready. Does it help ease the nerves a little bit that you have a quarterback like Matt who's done this for quite some time? Definitely. He's a guy that is helping me. He pulls me aside and tells me, you know, small things to kind of help me in my game on and off the field. So he's a he's a good mentor. Can you give us any kind of insight as to what some of those small things would be that he's told you? Just taking play play by play and don't don't look forward. Worry about what you have in front of you, then worry about the next. I don't know a little bit about like y'all creating a plan, like a color, a color coding chart. Like, did you have to do this for this too, to kind of keep yourself in check and in line? Like, do you have that level of planning still for yourself? I definitely, I still go by regiment and I kind of try and stay by it you know, for the six days out the week. What is that? Is this day that you don't do it Sunday, basically? Or yeah. you have a different cheat day in that? Okay. Well, Sunday is game day, so yeah. that'll be the day. What's that look like for you? Like, is there anything different in there? surprising there that we wouldn't think of besides like the obvious of, you know, practice film? Uh, I would just say now I have more time to, you know, focus more on film and, and recovering my body. I don't have tutoring in school anymore, so I kind of substitute those and take care of my body. I feel like every time we talk to Arthur Smith about you, he finds some way to bring up Lee and, and <laughs> to kind of say like he's there to help Kyle and, and to 
to be the mentor that we need, like a veteran mentor for him. Can you kind of speak to your relationship with him specifically? I think Lee is one of the best, and he's someone I learn from. I learn something new from him every day. Uh, he's somebody that's been in the league for 10 plus years, and he's seen it all. So just to sit and sit around and talk to him and soak up knowledge, that's what I do every day, and I kind of use it, use it everywhere. What's it been like just trying to block out the noise with all the expectations of being, you know, a top four pick? In college, I assume it's a little bit different. That's kind of more regional, but this is like national attention on you. So what's it been like just kind of stay focused and block it out? I don't really, like in college, I don't really read into social media, so I don't kind of like to look at that stuff, so I don't really pay any mind. Do you, do you have to avoid friends a little bit more now because of fantasy football? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, my friends never. So no, one, no, no, so no one's gotten on to been like, hey, I drafted you, like, you know, get going? Nah. <laughs> is there a certain aspect of your game that you're looking forward to putting on tape? Just blocking, blocking, full speed, you know, just being a vertical threat and, you know, being able to be an all-around tight end. You got any Philly cheesesteak coming down? <laughs> I might. My dad might bring one down. Cheetos <laughs> or Pats? Ishka Bibbles. What? Ishka Bibbles. What? I'm James Steaks all day. Uh, that's too what? commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm from Philly and made the mistake of wearing green, so you're all right, Jay. All right. Good time for one oh. more. That's it. That's it. I'm done. No, awesome. Thanks, you guys. All right, thank you. Thank you.